Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Quantum Ideas. So today we will be solving some of the digital SAT problems uh, related to quadratics. Okay, so let's get started. Let's see number one. Okay, in the x-y plane, what is the distance between the two x-intercepts of the parabola y is equals to x square minus 3x minus 10. So we have given the uh, equation of parabola and it is asking us to find the distance between two x-intercepts of the parabola. So let me um, give example. So let me draw the parabola okay this is the parabola let's say and let me draw x axis sorry okay so let's say this is the x axis okay okay let me use red color okay so two x intercept means x intercept is the point where the parabola cross the x axis so this is one x intercept and this is another x intercept let's say the coordinate of this is let's say x1 comma 0 and this is uh, x2 comma 0 then the distance between these two points okay these two x intercepts is equals to we have to take absolute value of uh, simply uh, x2 minus x1 why we take absolute value because the distance is always positive so we have to find uh, two x values so we have to solve this equation so to find the x intercept we have to set y equal to 0 y because on x axis the value of y is 0 so set this y to 0 and solve so we have x square minus 3x minus 10 is equals to 0 now factor uh, minus 3x so we have x square x square uh, minus 5x plus 2x okay we can write minus 3x as minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 equals to 0 now take x common so x minus 5 plus 2 common here so x minus 2 5 is 10 equals to 0 and here is x minus 5 common and here is x plus 2 remaining equals to 0 so you can do either uh, x minus 5 is equals to 0 that means uh, we have what uh, let's say here okay i will write um, here x equals to 5 and here uh, x plus 2 is equal to 0 means x equals to minus 2 so we have two uh, x values right two x values means two x intercepts now this is let's say this is x1 this is x2 now plug here so we have two points as let's say like this uh, this is let's say minus 2 comma 0 and this is like 5 comma 0 right so plug the value of x2 minus x1 so x2 is 5 minus what is x1 is minus 2 so this absolute value so 5 uh, minus minus plus 2 is equal to modulus of 7 is the 7 units okay so distance between two x intercept is what 7 is our answer so let's go to next number so let me use uh, black color so question 2 is what are the solutions to x square plus 4x plus 2 is equals to 0 so and we have given uh, four option if you look at the option there is sign like this plus minus plus minus okay so we cannot uh, uh, use like factorization okay in this case or we have to use uh, like standard formula to get plus minus so look here okay uh, what is standard formula of uh, parabola that is uh, a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 is the standard formula right so in this case if we solve this equation like completing the square we can get the value of b sorry we can get the value of x okay if we solve this we get the value of x as uh, what is x x means what x intercept right we also know x intercept or x is also called this is also called solution of the equation okay or this is also called root so if you solve this equation and find the value of that uh, that x is called x intercept or that x is also called solution or that x is also called root okay so x is equals to formula is minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac over twice a right okay oh uh, okay this is the value of x so we have to compare here so this is a x square value of a is 1 here b x is 4 right so b is 4 what is c c is equals to 2 so the value of x is equals to sorry x is equals to minus b what is b here is 4 minus 4 plus minus root over b square 4 square is uh, okay let me write 4 square is 16 minus 4 what is a a is 1 c is 2 divided by 2 into a is 1 so this is equals to minus 4 plus minus root over 16 minus 4 2 is 8 divided by 2 this equals to minus 4 plus minus root over 8 by 2 okay and minus 4 plus minus what is the root under 8 root under is 2 root 2 right root 2 over 2 if i take uh, 2 common from up so from this okay numerator so we have 2 common so we have minus 2 plus minus 
root 2 by 2 this 2 is gone we have the answer is what minus 2 plus minus root 2 so our answer is minus 2 plus minus root 2 so 2 number uh, answer is what a okay okay so okay let's go to next one so next question is if a is less than 1 and 2a square minus 7a plus 3 equals to 0 what is the value of a so this is quadratic equation so to get the value of a i we can use this formula also or we can directly uh, use factorization method okay uh, it will be much more easier to do factorization so let's say two okay so two into three is six so we can factor in term of six okay so two a square we can write six uh, a minus a plus three equal to zero so we rewrite minus seven as minus six minus a so take two uh, a common we have a minus two three six minus one is common here we have a minus three equal to zero so you can take a minus three common and we have remaining two a minus one equal to zero either a minus three equal to zero means a is equals to three or two a minus one equal to zero means a is equals to one by two right and we have given condition a is less than one so a is three is greater than one but a uh, is equal to one by two is what zero point five right this is less than one so this is the answer okay since a is less than one so our answer is 0 0.5 or 1 by 2 so let's move to next question so what is the sum of the solution of 2x minus 3 whole square equals to 4x plus 5 okay so it is asking the sum of the solution so do you remember what i said earlier so the solution is also called x intercepts or is also called x values or it is also called roots so i have already told you uh, standard form of uh, what uh, parabola or quadratic is a uh, quadratic equation is x square plus bx plus c is equal to zero right where a is not equals to zero and we have already i have already told you that um, it has two values okay that is uh, x is equals to minus b plus minus root under b square minus uh, 4ac by 2a okay there will be two values if i take positive here okay we have here okay here is plus and minus sign right if i take positive the formula uh, let's say uh, one of the roots will be x1 let's say x1 x1 will be minus b plus root under b square minus 4ac by 2a if i take negative here it becomes x2 will be equals to minus b minus root under b square minus 4ac by 2a right now if I, these two are called what x values or these are called solution and these are called roots so if i do the sum of them that is sum of roots right sum of roots or sum of i also called it solution also same thing so this equals to what x1 plus x2 right if i do it the answer will be like this this will equals to minus b by a okay so sum of the roots is minus b by a so first of all change uh, this equation into this form then find what then find minus b by a that will be our sum of the solution so we have given what mm, 2x minus 3 square is equals to 4x plus 5 just open it as a minus b whole square that is what a square minus 2 a b plus b square is equals to 4x plus 5 okay and this is equal to 4 2 to 4 so 4x square minus 2 to 4 3 2 x plus 3 3 9 is equals to okay uh, 4x plus 5 okay so this is like uh, 4x square there is minus 2 by x and 4 come to that side that becomes minus 4x minus 2 by x minus 4x is minus 16x okay and again uh, 5 goes to that side 9 minus 5 is plus 4 right is equal to 0 uh, let me uh, simplify it more by taking uh, 4 common okay if i take 4 common here it becomes x square minus 4 4 16 sorry 4x plus 1 is equals to 0 now 4 go to that side and it also becomes 0 so that means we have x square sorry so x square minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0 now let me compare this equation with our standard uh, quadratic equation that is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 therefore a is equals to what here a is equals to 1 b is equals to here is minus 4 and c is equals to 1 so what is the sum of the solution a is equals to minus b over a minus what is b is minus 4 by what is a is 1 so this is 4 
so our answer is what 4 the sum of the solution is 4 okay okay let's go to next one so let's go to number 5 okay x square minus 34x plus c is equal to 0 in the given equation c is a constant the equation has no real solution if c is greater than n okay what is the least possible value of n so the question is asking that the value of n okay okay <coughs> and c is greater than n what is the least possible value of n so first of all what we can do uh, we can use this condition so this is very important so look here uh, okay the equation has no real solution if c is greater than 1 so there is given some condition that the equation has no real solution so we have to set up uh, what that condition okay then we have to find uh, c is greater than n okay we have to find the least possible value of n also okay so the condition for the quadratic equation to have no real solution we have to find out that okay so in order to find out that we have to again look here so there is something inside this root right that is b square minus 4ac this is called discriminant okay what is called discriminant and the value of this discriminant determines the nature of this solution okay this solution could be what real or imaginary that depend upon this quantity inside the discriminant so what is that quantity is called we call it discriminant d is called to what uh, b square minus 4ac okay okay if okay if uh, b square minus uh, 4ac is greater than 0 okay then the that uh, what quadratic equation have uh, two real roots okay two real roots and if uh, b square minus 4 okay sorry b square minus 4ac will be 0 there will only one real root okay only one both will be equal so only one real roots if b square minus 4ac is 0 and if b square minus 4ac is less than 0 uh, it will have uh, no real roots okay that is complex root no real root so the question is saying that condition has no real root if c is greater than n so it is saying us no real root so we have to use this condition so let's do it so we have given the equation uh, x square minus uh, 34x plus c is equals to 0 right if you compare with uh, ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 a is equals to 1 right b is what minus 34 and c is equals to c no problem i see. okay so since the equation has no solution that means b square minus 4 ac is less than 0 so no real solution b square minus 4 ac is less than 0 right so what is b square that is minus 34 is square minus 4 what is a is 1 what is c c is c itself so 0 so what is minus 30 square just use calculator so it is uh, 1 1 5 6 okay minus 4 c is less than 0 so what we can do uh, uh, let's remove 4 c okay so we add 4 um, uh, c on both sides so 11 5 6 minus 4 c we add 4 c on both sides we have to add okay so this is gone so this is 1 1 5 6 is less than 4 c and uh, divide let's divide both side by 4 okay so this is exactly uh, 289 it's less than c or you can also uh, uh, write this like this c is what greater than what 289 okay so c is greater than what 289 so this is the condition we get okay okay c is greater than n so this is the n this is our what n so c is greater than n so what is the least possible value of n okay what is the least possible value of then since c is what greater than 289 means least possible value of n will be equals to just uh, one just above the 289 is 290 okay so the value of n is what 290 okay this is the least possible value there are other uh, also there are a lot of many others value but this is the least possible value right okay let's go to number six i think we have okay let's go to number six 
so we are given this uh, parabola and this is what vertex of parabola and this is uh, two x intercepts which of the following equation represent the parabola shown in the x y plane above so which uh, which one is the valid uh, equation of parabola represented by this diagram it is asking so what we can do is that we have we can just uh, check the points given here here or here any points right these points fall on uh, what parabola uh, they must satisfy this equation first of all let me tell you uh, actually what are these these are the vertex form of parabola okay these are called vertex form so vertex form means let's say these are the point h comma k right okay if this is the h comma k point then the equation of para uh, parabola can be written as uh, y is equal to some constant a uh, x minus h square plus k okay so this is the vertex form of parabola okay h k is the vertex so these are the vertex form okay now which parabola represents so we can uh, just uh, pick the point from the parabola and just plug it and check okay let me uh, pick this point okay so this is let's say 1 comma 0 right so let's check if i plug x i should get y at 0 okay let's plug here 1 okay so if i plug here 1 1 minus 3 is minus 2 minus 2 square is what 4 4 minus 8 is what minus 4 but here y is what 0 so this is not equation okay let's go number b plug here x equals to 1 1 plus 3 square is 4 square 4 square is 16 plus 8 is y is not 0 here also okay so th this point is not satisfied let's check here again plug here 1 so 1 minus 3 is what minus 2 square is what 4 4 into 2 is 8 8 minus 8 is 0 so this point is satisfied you can check here also if i plug here uh, 1 plus 3 square minus 8 right this is 2 into 16 minus 8 this is also not equal to 0 so this is not answer so c is our answer so you can just plug 1 0 or you can also plug here 5 comma 0 and check or you, or you can also plug 3 comma minus 8 okay and also check so what we have to do we have to plug x and check if it comes the value of y okay i hope you understand guys okay so c is your answer so let's go to next one okay okay c is your answer okay let me clean little bit so c is your answer so let's go to uh, number seven y is equal to a x minus three x minus k in the quadratic equation above a and k are constant okay a and k are constant so we have given the equation uh, as a quadratic equation and a and k are what constants if the graph of the equation in the axial plane is a parabola with the vertex is 5 minus 32 what is the value of a it is asking us to find the value of a okay let's do it so first of all uh, this is the standard uh, not standard form this is the factor form okay this is called factor form of parabola what this is called uh, factored form so factor of uh, form of parabola is written as y is equal to some constant a a is called vertical uh, relaxation factor and x minus this 3 is actually x1 and x minus x2 so this is what factored form so if i made a parabola like this okay and i make uh, let's say x axis okay, this is x axis so what is uh, okay so this point okay this point is what x intercept is what x1 comma 0 and this point is what uh, x2 comma 0 right and if i made the axis of symmetry it will pass from here uh, from the center okay little bit okay let's say this is the axis right sorry axis not this is the vertex and this is called axis of symmetry okay this is called axis of parabola okay and the x coordinate will be average of these two right x1 and x2 because it lies in center so this will be equals to x1 plus x2 by 2 and if you plug this function x1 plus x2 by uh, x2 by 2 on the given function then you also find the y coordinate of this point okay okay now so in the quad equation above a and k are constant if the graph of the equation in the actual plane is the okay first of all we have to find what we have to find x1 and x2 and we can equal this to this part if you don't understand let me solve it okay so we have given like this uh, y is equals to a x minus 3 
x minus k so let's find this x1 and x2 since these are the what x intercepts right so value of what y is 0 right so equal this to 0 is equals to a x minus 3 uh, x minus k we know that a is not equals to 0 okay a is some uh, constant or factor it is not equal to 0 that's why a is not equal to 0 but x minus 3 equal to 0 and x minus k is equal to 0 this equal to 0 this equal to 0 that means x equals to 3 and x is equals to k okay so this is our x1 this is our let's say x2 now so we have given vertex right what is vertex of this parabola vertex is 5 comma minus 32 right we have x1 comma 0 is what 3 comma 0 and what is x2 comma 0 is k comma 0 so we have given 5 minus 2 so, so what is the x coordinate of the vertex is the average of these two x coordinates right so 5 so 5 is equals to 3 plus k by 2 right okay so what we say that the x coordinate of vertex is the average of these two x1 and x2 right or uh, average of two x intercepts okay so find the value of k what is uh, 2 5 this 2 go this size this is 10 equals to 3 plus k k is equal to 10 minus 3 is equals to 7 so the value of k is 7 okay now we get the value of k but what the question is asking us question is asking for the value of a right so to find the value of uh, a we have to use everything here okay so we have given equation is y is equals to a x minus 3 x minus k what is k k is 7 so plug here 7 sorry okay so x minus 7 right we plug here k as 7 okay we plug here k as 7 so now what we can do to find the value of a just plug this value of these points on the parabola this is x this is y so plug this is minus 32 is equal to a what is x x is 5 minus 3 what is x 5 minus 7 so this will give you minus 32 is equals to a 5 minus 3 is 2 5 minus 7 is what minus sorry minus so minus 32 is equals to minus 4a minus minus becomes plus and 8 okay uh, 4 8 okay minus minus becomes plus so a is 8 so the value of a is equals to what 8 okay you got it okay so this is the concept behind it okay guys so let's move to our next question number 8 for what values of x does the equation y equal to 5x minus x square result in the maximum value of y so first of all you have to understand that so it asking what is the maximum value of y right so if i write the equation like this let's say y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c and also write the equation in this way also let's say y is equal to minus a x square plus bx plus c so here the coefficient of x square is positive here x square of uh, coefficient of x square is negative if it is positive the parabola will what open upward okay if this coefficient of x square is negative the parabola is open downward like this so in this case the parabola will produce what uh, here minimum value uh, y will have minimum value okay so y will have what minimum value if the parabola have negative like this it will be what open downward this mean this point will have uh, maximum value of y so y will be maximum okay in that case so you can also see here this is the minus x square right this is what minus x square that means the parabola will be what like this okay open downward and here will be the maximum value of y okay so let's say this is the point let me make uh, some axis like this okay so this is the parabola okay let's say and this is our the x intercept let's say this is x1 comma 0 and let's say this is another x intercept this is x2 comma 0 and here we have to find what maximum value of y we have to find here y right there is x and uh, comma y okay so how to find it let's do it so first of all let us find what x1 and x2 means 2x intercept how we find that we set y to 0 so we are given y equal to 5x minus x square right so set y equals to 0 so this is what uh, here is x common take x common uh, 5 minus x either you can say either x equals to 0 or 5 minus x equals to 0 means x equals to 5 so we have x1 as 0 x2 as 5 clear 
clear now so what is the uh, value of so is okay the question is asking not maximum value for what value of x does the equation uh, results in the maximum value of y so to get the maximum value of y we have to plug the value of x what is the value of x here so it is asking the value of x here x is what x1 plus x2 by 2 because this uh, x is, uh, lies symmetrically right between x1 and x2 so x is x1 plus x2 by 2 so what is x1 this is x1 right and this is x2 therefore uh, x will be equals to x1 plus x2 by 2 this is equal to 0 plus 5 by 2 what is 5 by 2 that is 2.5 so if the value of x becomes that is 2.5 then this y becomes what maximum so for what value of x therefore the value of x is equals to 2.5 okay okay so guys uh, this much for today i guess yeah so thank you for watching uh, if you really appreciate my video then please leave a like subscribe share okay see you till the next video bye bye